You don't have to leave anymore. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks butt? Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh, oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing. I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place. Oh? I bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh! This paperwork's done. And signed. Thanks for bringing the docs, Rox. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? Ah. Uh... I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment. Is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office! I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Uh... Hey, Rob. How's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor and... What's with this murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you're tripping again. No, I am not, in fact, tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm going to go check on Colin. Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without third degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, about your machine. Yep, dry cleaning, it's just the best. Hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? <laughs> just swell. We've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal, and bam, another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. Hey, look. I still owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said I couldn't stand you, I, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. Uh-huh. Move along. Just don't mess this case up. I had a strange feeling about it when I read the files. We got some stuff to talk about later, yeah? Uh... You're out early. Just need to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. <sighs> Bring up Colin's memories? We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memory, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. Personally, I think you deserve to know. 
thanks, but I'm okay. Uh, aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure. And there was a time when I'd have been dying to know every detail, but now... I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it had even changed my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. Um... There is, however, something I wanted to ask. Only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here? And like this? Uh, no. I actually wanted to ask you about it. Hmm. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. Hmm. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. <sighs> a faded old painting of a flying single-engine plane. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now, but I know you're just here to do your job, so thank you for helping him. Uh, yeah, no hard feelings. lifetime of memories and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Receive note, photo album. Hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well... Alright, come on. What's up? There's... something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish, and what you saw in there. You know that's confidential, right? Yes, but you must know what it's like, being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Uh... You know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy, that's all. <sighs> I guess he certainly isn't, huh? Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always going to have cravings and longings for what-ifs. He's just curious about the grass on the other side of the fence. That's all. 
as humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay a part of his new life. Hope that helps, for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Oh, wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his status. Uh... Thank you for your service. I hope you'll work something out. Try to leave him be. Disturbances only make my job harder. She's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. Patient Neuralink established. Systems online. External neuro connections. One operator profile. Dr. Eva Rosaline. Hey, Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Huh? Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here, somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Damn it! Ah! Where are my pills? Neil? I'd better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Uh... Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Ugh. How long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's, uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. <sighs> it shouldn't take that long to get to the car and back. That doesn't look like work. It's Space Invaders 12, the origin story. It turns out they were mutant humans, and we were the aliens all along. I'm gonna kill them all. So, you're gonna hang around here? Yep. Why are you not back in there yet? Constipation. Looks like it. Go take a walk. Yes? Nope. Bye. Die, die, die! Oh no! I killed one! Ah. Uh. You're still here! No, this isn't fair. I've worked so hard my whole life, and I have to die before I've even been to Detroit! 
this whole and you and your uh, what? Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amberstall into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatize that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. And now that I've got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You named your kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly, it's just a nickname. His real name's Spud. Uh... Oh! By the way! The front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin? You know Colin? Yeah! He once literally beat up Amber for me! Did I use that word right, Ma? No, dear. You meant figuratively. Oh. Huh? But whatevs. So anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. Um... I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? For what? To write spy messages, of course! It's invisible ink! I've already written two secret letters to Spud for when you can read good. Old Man Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. <laughs> Lucky me. Receive note, lemon juice. So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks! I'm gonna write a letter to myself! Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Aw, alright. Eva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important. Right now, I need you to check something for me. Um, what? Bye! Is everything going okay up there? Did you find the last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye? Check for any aviation accidents. You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. Uh... I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Uh... Hello? Hey, Rox, you're still at your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me run a record check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Uh... Okie dokie, Loki pokey. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results.
Uh... Hey, Eva. I'm still working on the- Neil? Can you hear me? Uh, yes? Hello? Are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me... Listen, I don't think she Eva? Uh... Er, you still there? Oh, weird. The comm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Wait a minute. That's a nice bike. I sure wish I had one like it. Uh... Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty! Oh. Uh... How's the record searching going? Oh, it's going just great! Actually, no. It's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So, here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Bay. Uh, as in no record available to the public domain? As in no record in existence. Anywhere. We've checked the cumulative public record, the private ID network databases, even, well, even a few places we technically don't have access to. Still, there is no record of her for anything. No death, not even birth. Oh. Oh. So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of distortive amnesiac condition... He doesn't. I checked. Yeah. So... Uh... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Uh... Everyone, the new member is here! Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Ah, Jay, what a nice surprise! Yeah.